Hi, I'm Kate with Kate's Paper Creations and I welcome you to my weekly video and blog where I feature current products or in this case upcoming pro products from Stampin' Up! I also sell the products that I use in these videos and I invite you to shop with me in my online store. Okay, this is a set that's coming out just when you think you had it all from the holiday catalog. Stampin' Up! surprises us with something else to add to our collections. This bundle or group of products is called Curvy Celebrations and it comes with two stamp sets, a die set, and some 6x6 designer series papers. They can be bought either just the stamp sets, just the dies, there's a bundle of a stamp set and dies and a bundle of a stamp set and papers. And then there's the get it all variety pack where you can buy all of it and have it all sent to you for one price. One thing nice about shopping online is your order gets processed and sent directly to your door and you don't have to go pick it up anywhere. That's always nice and I appreciate your support. Okay, so here's the card, one of the cards we're going to make today. And let's get started so I can show you how it's done. Started with a piece of Whisper White Thick. It's cut five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and it's going to make a top fold card. Then I cut for the front of the card two pieces of the paper, the designer series paper, and it's called Classic Christmas and there's a lot of different designs in there. This these two pieces are cut one and a quarter by five and a half. I did cut them. Nope, I didn't cut them at five and a half. Let's do that. <laughs> Let's cut them at five and a half. We'll just stack them up here and do that real quick. But they are one and a quarter wide by five and a half now and we're going to attach those to the card front with just regular adhesive. Just like this. playing with my light there. Sorry. Um, I know I'm creating shadows and I'm trying not to do that. So let's see if we can figure that out. And just like that. So there's the top and the bottom sections. Then while we've got it here, we can also stamp the sentiment. And I'm stamping the sentiment. The sentiment comes from the curvy Christmas... No, from the... <laughs> too many new things. From the quite curvy stamp set. And it says, as you see on the card, wishing you the happiest of birthdays. And I'm going to stamp it with Highland Heather. And that's going to go right down the center like this. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, that's all I can do with the base card right now. Now when I cut this from the 6x6 six six paper, it leaves enough to put a half inch strip like this on the inside of the card. This will utilize one entire piece of your 6x6 six six paper. It'll leave about a 3 quarter inch strip I think is all. Okay, and I didn't trim that one, so let's trim that. So I put that on the inside of the card. I like just adding a little bit of something inside the card. So that's the front of the card. Then I also took the rest, the remaining piece of the designer series paper, and I traced the flap of my envelope on there with an ink pen, and we will cut that. And 
and there's that piece that's the only little bit that's left that's usable out of that piece of six by six which puts it good to good use then I take the flap and I put the tape right on the flap right on the top and bottom edges and down the sides and then attach this to the flap now lots of people make liners and that's cute but I don't know I just like having something on the outside of the envelope that kind of carries the theme of the card all around and um, for this particular one I decided to be different on the first one I kept the theme and I stayed with the um, the open plaid look I'm just trimming it up because you never get an exact cut when you're cutting something out. So I'm just trimming it up so it looks nice. But I decided to do this, this one. So here's the first one with the grid side and this is the one with the stripe side. So just so you can see the difference. Okay, now we're going to make the pieces that go on the card, these pieces here. And these came from the quite curvy stamp set, everything except the bow and the bow came from the curvy Christmas stamp set okay so I stamped them with memento black and then I colored them with blends pens and I used a variety of colors this one I saved just so you could see how I did the greenery and I used shaded spruce blends pen and I started out by just just putting the lines, just doing the centers and the accent here with the dark shaded spruce. And I'm not being careful at all. You don't have to be. It's not critical. It's going to all come together and blend together. So there's the dark part. Then I came back with the light after I let it dry for just a little bit. I didn't want it to blend too much. I wanted the dark to kind of sh stand out a little bit. So then I let it dry for a little bit. And then I came back and I just literally just didn't worry about filling in all the white around the edges. Just, just added. It looks almost the same color, but when it dries, you'll see the shading. And I did that and then I came back with this uh, soft dark soft sea foam and then I filled in the white around with the dark soft sea foam and it just kind of carried some color out and again I didn't worry about getting every little bit of white covered it, it just looks kind of neat with it just a little bit of it showing this is cased from the samples that they showed in our pre-order um, it's not an original to me but not necessarily something you will see because it was sent to us as demonstrators so there's the the leaves and let me tell you the colors so the greens are light and dark shaded spruce then the fill on these leaves was the um, soft sea foam then the flowers from this end it began with rococo uh, no yeah rococo rose then I used so saffron light then I used um, this blue one is the seaside spray and this one was oh yeah okay so this was purple posy and this one was rococo rose dark so there you go and then I did the bow with the purple posy as well and kind of gave some shading there so there's the pieces we're going to put on the front of the card we'll start with these two and they get put on with dimensionals i find my dimensionals wherever they got buried here we go and we'll put some dimensionals on those and i put a few across like that Like that and 
and we'll bring our card back in and this one goes this way and I just kind of so it comes up a little bit into the wipe not a lot and then this one is going to go in the other direction and do the same so it creates a nice little window and those are raised up then these two down here at the bottom one curves up and the other curves down I'm going to put them like that and I'm going to overlap them just a little bit so I'm going to put some adhesive on one end of them get my fingers underneath them and I'm going to put this one I think I'm going to want it to look like that and then this one like that so I'm just going to kind of overlap them a little bit and that's going to work fine and then I put these on also I just put them on flat so I kind of just figured out where I wanted the adhesive to be between here and here and so I'm just going to put some adhesive on there like that and then attach them again to the front like that and then the bow I put on with a couple of mini dimensionals I added another layer there just like Oopsie, put it right side up and it's going to kind of go in the center like that and there is the card all done isn't that beautiful just a very simple card you can have your envelope be like this or you could have your envelope be like that and there is the finished product hope you enjoyed stopping by i'm looking forward to being able to sell you this set beginning november 3rd